All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Southside Fishing. I am your host, Nick. Literally just got back from that trip, from that series that I just ended. I'm literally fishing these the next day. I got home at 12, didn't go to bed until probably one, um, cause I had to put all the stuff away. But we are up, not so bright and early. I think it's about 10 o'clock right now, 10, 20. So we're gonna get out. We're gonna go hit the old float tubes. Um, God, it was a long drive yesterday. It was a long drive. I mean, 15 hours from my house to where we were. We're gonna do some float tubing, like I said before. It's gonna be a fun time. And um, with the buddy Dave, we're gonna see if we can't uh, stick some hogs. We're going to a spot I've never been to. He hasn't fished in many, many years. And uh, he says it should be pretty good. We had a full moon, or pretty much a full moon last night. And now it's cloudy. Hopefully the rain doesn't uh, piss on us. But if it does, I've got a rain jacket. I'm prepared this time. Last time I didn't bring a rain jacket. I was soaked and freezing, so. Hopefully that's not the case today, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, I've got a Texas rig tied on, I've got a Ned rig, and then I've got a Chatterbait uh, tied on as well. I'm gonna see if any of those things can't get us a big one. Or a bass, period. I, I'd be happy to catch a bass. Uh, I'd be happy, but uh, stay tuned guys. It's gonna be a fun one and uh, you're not gonna be mad. So uh, let's get this video rolling. Dave's on. It might be a good one too. He's throwing a dog shit. Oh shit. Alright, let's see what we can't do around here, man. It's a good one. Are you really? There's one. First cast with this thing, dude. Dude, like second cast with this thing. It actually might be a decent one. That's not bad, dude. There we go. Good. It's, it's the best. Oh, come here. He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. Give me your face. Uh, this is one of those. I just Texas rigged it. There we go. That's not a bad bass. Tell me I was recording. Yes, of course I was. Yes. Not a bad bass. He freaking chomped it. Hell yeah. First fish of the day. That feels good. It's probably a solid two, two and a half. He's pissing on me too. Yes, there we go. Not a bad bass, very, very beautiful fish. And it has been a long time waiting to get me some more of these guys. So we're gonna let them go get them back. Hopefully get some more. This is literally the first official cast that I took with this thing, so. Let's let them back. This water's warm, like warm, warm. That guy came on a Berkeley Havoc change up, four and a half inch little uh, craw fish trailer. It's, I don't know what color it is. It's a Texas craw, I guess so, but it's a natural color. I mean, I'll show you guys here in a second, but uh, this is this is what it looks like basically. Um, it's really good for flipping because it's got no appendage on the side to get hung up on any reeds or anything. Um, so it's a real slim profile. And uh, you know that Berkeley is loaded with scent, so I got him. I got that on a 4 aught Berkeley Fusion hook, I believe. And then I've got a, what I believe is a half ounce tungsten 
with the bottle stop. I didn't have it. I forgot my beads. Usually I put a bead in there, but we're, we're, we're making do. We're catching fish, so that's good. Let's see if we can't get another one. Big. Yeah, it's a big one. Didn't come off. Oh, he came off. He came off. I lost a big one. I just lost a giant. Oh my God, I just lost a freaking giant. Oh my goodness, like a f Oh, that sucks. I think I might have found out I just had another bite I missed. Ah, oh, damn it. No, I thought it was the way he hit it. Ooh, I thought you were a giant, my friend. He smacked it, almost took the rod out of my hand. <sighs> so I've caught a couple bluegill, a couple small bass, lost a at least four pounder, and caught that two and a half, three. Um, it has not been a bad day. I just was throwing around the net rig for a while, actually a long time. And I'm like, you know what, okay, I'm gonna go back to, uh, to flipping, because that's just the way I like to fish a lot. But, you know, we're, we're, try we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to get a big one. I know they're in here. 100% know that they're in here. Dave just caught a uh, crappie on a jerk bait, so. Okie dokie. Well, we are back in the studio, everybody. Welcome back. Let's get into the giveaway part of this video. And that consists of us picking a little giveaway winner. And then after that, I'm gonna go more in depth of um, everything I'm gonna give to them. Okay, so, oh, whoa. I have got my computer up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, dokie. So hopefully you guys can see, you probably can't because that light's doing something weird with the camera. That's not good. I might have to film this off my phone, actually. Okay, so I'm thinking for whatever reason it is not wanting to cooperate, so I'm gonna have to film it off my phone, but I'll show you guys. It'll, it'll be the same. Just give, give me one sec. Okay, we are filming. Here we go. Here we go. So, um, I've got, I don't know, this is some random site um, called Sonda Cries Art. I don't know what the hell it is, but um, it's a site where you can put your thing in, it'll give you a random. Uh, a random name. So what we're gonna do, paste this, or copy this, I should say, and then paste it. So copy. And ready. And then go ahead and you click paste. So that is the video's URL. Um, and now, let's see, no comments. There's a video, there's a thumbnail. It's got 18 comments. It says it found 18 comments, which is correct. So that's good. And now we are going to do randomly pick a winner. So the winner is Sir Mikey 7V. My friend, if you're watching this, hopefully you are. Either comment, I'm, I'm gonna say comment down in this video or personally email me. I believe my email's on my YouTube um, within, let's say, five days. So contact me within five days um, and we'll get this sorted out. Um, if you don't contact me within, let's say, the first I don't know, three or four days on that last day, I'm gonna shoot you a uh, an email if I can and uh, see what's going on. So, Sir Mikey V, that is the winner. And uh, let's shoot back up to the big camera. Okay, so, Sir Mikey V, my friend, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, following this channel. And this really goes to everybody, but I'm just saying this. Um, you guys are awesome. You guys are an awesome, awesome fan base. Um, you give me a lot of support, so that's good. and keeps me motivated to keep doing this. So um, contact me, my friend, and uh, and we'll get you, we'll get these baits shipped out and these reels. Um, speaking of, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick what I am going to give um, Sir Mikey 7V. Uh, so just, just one second. Okay. 
Okay, so now that I'm looking at everything on the table, I'm probably probably gonna have to ship these in two separate boxes just so that they don't charge me an arm and a leg for shipping. This is probably gonna weigh quite a bit. But so let's uh again let's real quickly go over what exactly it is you so my QB are winning. So I decided to throw in a couple of Spinner flute rigs. I don't know what you call these things, but they're basically these. They're Panther Martins. Let me let me let me let me focus. The Panther Martins, um, basically a spinner with a EWG and a fluke on the back of them. Um, you can use them in fresh water, and um, you can use them in salt water as well. They're rated for both. Uh, Giving you a little green and a little red candy candy apple red. So. Next, nice little Zoom Super Chunk Junior, black. That's perfect on the back of a jig. We've also got some Zoom Watermelon Candy Red, I believe. Did I get it right? Watermelon Red, not candy. It, close enough. Basically, some more swim baits, fluke style swim baits. Giving you some little beaver style baits by Bass Pro Shops. I actually used this exact trailer to catch Oh, to that 4.60 um, on the back of a black and blue jig. This one right here, actually. Um, it's a good color. It, it, I'm not in focus, but it works. It works. It, trust me, it works. Just a couple more craw baits that you could either throw on the back of a jig or you could Texas rig if you wanted to. Green pumpkin and some blue and black because I love throwing me some blue and black. Beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Next up, we've got some Berkeley Havoc. More craw baits. Um, I'm telling you, when I, when I say these things catch fish, they catch fish. We've got some of those. We've got um, these, what do they, they call these? These are the skirted grub jigs, or grub jig trailers, just to say, by Chompers. These things smell like freaking garlic. Um, and, they're, and they're pretty good. Pretty good, actually. I've used them a lot. The line, let's go over the line real quick. Got you guys, or you, some, some P-Line cold polymer. It's the only cold polymer I use. I love it a lot. Um, I've got that in a 10 pound, and then I've also got that in a 8 pound as well. Mist green, um, it's a pretty good color, especially if that water's got a little bit of stain to it. Um, but it's not so overpowering like some of the low mist greens where you can see it in clear water. So, two boxes of line, these are 300 yard spools. Little custom lures, all purpose jig right here. You see that's got a little green pumpkin chartreuse, a little bit of red, um, or orange I should say, sorry. And then I'm gonna throw in a couple more jigs. I'm going to give you one of these. This is a strike, these are striking bitsy bugs. Um, and as you see, I actually just used this the other day and caught a freaking decent bass on it. But I'll give you a I'll give you one of those in that color. I'll give you a little green pumpkin color as well. And you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll throw you in a little, little black one too. So now you got yourself some jigs to put that um well to put all those trailers on. I'm gonna have to find a way to package those so they don't get set back because they're open hooks. Okay, well, that is it. That ho Hopefully that's enough to get you on some biggins this season. You're getting you're getting some stuff, my friend. Congratulations, man. And uh, once again, thank you everybody for watching my channel and giving me the support. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these giveaways, so just keep the positive vibes up, guys. Thank you so much for checking my videos out, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing them with your friends. Um, that's awesome, thank you guys. Sharing the channel gets it to grow, and we can do more and more giveaways like these coming up in the future. But uh, uh, that's it for now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my room up now because I've got baits. I was literally looking through all my soft plastics, plastics and just throwing random ones in there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, guys, I'm digging it. I'm feeling good. And uh, I'm going to sign out here. Hopefully fix my autofocus. There we go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, like I said, we'll do another giveaway sometime soon. Thank you, guys. I am out of here.